Ligon did what? I know. Who could have guessed that having sex with my doctor and fellow drug addict would turn out poorly? Are you okay? No, not really. But is it crazy to think that this all happened at exactly the same time I get a large chunk of money from my family's trust? What, you think the money's cursed? <laughs> I think bad things happen any time my family does anything, but especially when there's money involved. How much are we talking? Oh, whatever amount is in your head, times it by 10, and then taint it with toxic family relationships. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is the pain? Maybe a 4, but it's nothing compared to my knee. So it's your knee as well. And uh, what number would you give your knee? Well, if my foot is a 9, then I'd say my knee is an 8. Shouldn't you be typing this into a computer? Huh, I've got it all right here, OK? So it is your shoulder, your knee, mm. and your foot. Mm. And that is everything. And my skin is very dry. Huh, so that's not everything. I wasn't sure if you did skin stuff. OK, Mr. Pembroke, why don't you just tell me all of your concerns? Well, the only other thing I can think of is muscle aches, mm -hmm. um, blurred vision, exhaustion, headaches, constipation. Oh, and I'm always freezing. OK, I'm going to go and get this logged into your chart before I forget, and then I'm going to be right back, OK? OK, so you've got shoulder pain connected to the knee pain, connected to the foot pain, dry skin, blurry vision, muscle aches, exhaustion, constipation, and oh, no. how about an indoor rock climbing wall? Okay, what part of this money is cursed? Didn't you understand? Oh, Sauna and hot tub? No. Jet skis. Sure. Really? No. Eli, Eli, Eli. Okay. Now you, you nearly have me stumped. What with your litany of issues? I mean the headaches, the knee, the inability to regulate your body temperature. I mean, I really had to dig deep and I searched far and wide. I mean, I even consulted a dusty old medical text. But I have figured it out. I know what you have. It is called a low thyroid, and it explains all of your symptoms. Even the cut on my leg that won't heal? What cut on your leg that won't heal? Did I forget to mention that one? Yeah, it must have uh, slipped your mind. So do I still have a low thyroid, Dr. Bloom? No. Um. So, cut your leg. Don't heal. Ay. Constipation. Headaches. You like? Okay. Now I think I have figured out what is wrong with you, and this is the treatment. It looks big. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So look, I, I went over your landfill of symptoms a million times, and the only diagnosis I could come to was malnutrition. Now, Eli, are you having trouble buying food? My Social Security check pays most of my rent, but to cover the rest of it, I sell my food stamps and um, eat fast food because it's cheap. OK. Well, look, you can't do that anymore. I knew I was cutting corners. I didn't know I was hurting myself. What about the shelter? I mean, they offer three healthy meals a day. I won't take food away from people who really need it. You really need it. I mean, your body is basically starving. Have you heard of something called Meals for Seniors? I mean, it is a great program that is designed to help with the nutritional needs of the elderly. I've been on a wait list since June of 2016. Your call is very important. Please continue to hold, and the next available Meals for Seniors representative will assist you. Meals for Seniors, this is Linda. Hi, uh, Linda. This is Dr. Lauren Bloom over at New Amsterdam. Um, I've got a patient who is on your wait list. Sorry, I know it's frustrating, but it can take years for a client to work their way to the top. There's just too many hungry elders. Right. Um, well, look, how much would it cost to wipe out the wait list? Are you trying to bribe me? No, uh, no, I just wondered how much it would cost to service everyone who's been waiting. That's a big number. Try me. 
Oh, uh, Eli. I called Meals to Seniors. Turns out they had an opening after all. <laughs>